All right, boys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Black Clover Rise of the Wizard King very quickly, super easy on your PC using BlueStacks. So first of all, there's going to be a link in the description. It's going to be the up-to-date latest BlueStacks version that already comes with really good settings, by the way. So I would recommend you download that one. If you have the previous version, whatever, just like throw that away, download this one. Boom. Now, once you've downloaded it, you'll have it in your download folder, right? And then, you know, for people that aren't, you know, too acquainted with PCs, you use the installer. Now, I already have it installed, but it's going to pop up with this little window. Oh, it's going to pop up this little window. And then, um, boom, there you go. I already have the latest version installed, but what you want to do is it's going to ask you where you want to install it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay. You install BlueStacks. Now, once it's installed, it's going to open up with um, a window like this. It's going to start BlueStacks and you have your instance ready. Right, this is now a phone on your PC. Now, two things you want to make sure is one, uh, which version do you want to play, JP or Korea? I'm going to mention that uh, later, why that matters. But first of all, you want to think about which version you want to play. I, th I assume most people want to play JP. Um, so first of all, what you want to do is download Kuwap. That is also going to be in the description. You scroll in here, you download Kuwap, and then you have it downloaded here too. Now, the way you install Kuwap is also very simple. If I drag this here, you take your Kuwap, you drag it into your... Um, into your blue stacks and then boom it's installed right i already have it installed but that's it very very quick process right now you click cool app you go on cool app now it's going to ask you uh, it might take a second too by the way but now it's going to ask you do you want to make a guest account do you want to do like a real account whatever now i actually have a real cool app account but just for you people i'm going to do a uh, guest account login in this video just because it's very quickly so it's going to open up the the funny cool app login page so boom we're on Kuwap, you want to click these arrows, you click guest. Okay? Now, it might ask you again what you want to log in with, like this. Um, but it might not. It, it did once for me, but now it's not doing it. And then it's going to ask you to register a Kuwap Isekai Pass. Yoink, I am not doing that. Uh, we are here for Black Clover only. You can do that if you want, that's up to you. But I'm just saying, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Now, uh, we can just type on our keyboard, Black Clover. Um, and then, boom, we'll have these options. Now... Rise of the Wizard King, Japanese and Korean. Again, you want to pick which one you want to install because you can only have one installed on a device and have it actually run. Um, if you have both installed, if you have the Korean installed, you try to play a Japanese, it'll tell you something, something, Facebook manager, uh, Korea detected, you can't play it, right? It's weird. I don't know why they do it, but you can only play one per instance, which is why you want to have multiple instances. I have two. The way you open up this menu is you're going to have this button right here, right? It's going to open the multi instance manager and then you can make a new instance down here. And uh, once you click that, you make a fresh instance or you can clone it. If you have a uh, up installed on here, but nothing else, just clone it. All right. You can just uh, clone any uh, instance, right? So I could clone Japan. I could clone Korea, right? Or you make a fresh one, right? And then what you want to pick here is very important. Pi 64 bit. I tried Nougat and it ran a lot worse for me. So I would suggest you go with Pi 64 bit. Um, and then once you have that, right, you have Kuwap um, on both. Let's say you want to install the Japanese one. You just go in here, you click download, um, and then it's going to install. It's going to uh, ask you to give Kuwap the permission to install Black Clover on your device. And then boom, you're done, right? Now we go back to this, and then we have JP here. Now we're not done yet fully. First of all, what you want to make sure is, um, in case it doesn't work or something for you. So first of all, phone, choose a predefined profile. You want to pick the 21 Ultra and 20 uh, Plus. Doesn't really matter. Um... You just want to pick a high-end phone, okay? Because if you don't pick a high-end phone, it might not work, and it might just run poorly too, because of the way uh, like the Android uh, stuff works. Uh, now, graphically, I have these settings. This is what it comes with, I'm pretty sure, as well. Now, it, this worked the best for me. I tried every single combination that was possible. Some of them don't even work, like you can't even open the game with some uh, combinations. This worked the best for me. Um, the game, up until you actually get into the game and you can open the settings, is locked to 30 FPS. And this has gotten me to 30 FPS consistently, no, like, hiccups or anything. Um, while, like, doing anything, like, I had my bros up, had my VPN up, everything, right? All sorts of stuff, very good. And then this display, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do, like, here, right? Uh, you can increase the p pixel density and everything. But I would just stay with medium, right? It ran well. And performance-wise, I opted to 6 cores. You can leave it at 4, I didn't notice a difference. And then eight, I gave it 8K, but BlueStack doesn't use that much. RAM, like I, I did, I don't think it went over 3k once for me during my like testing, and I had two instances up. Because if you want, right, with the multi instance stuff, you can run both instances right now. I'm recording, so I don't want to like roll my PC too hard. Uh, I'm recording, I have uh, something up, and I'm running a video, so let's just like let's just leave it at at one instance, right? But you can have both of them up, right? If you want to re roll, you can have multiple instances. Um, 
and then lock your cursor between them and uh, do it all at the same time. But uh, Black Clover has its own reboot system. I don't think you'll be needing that. Anyway, so now you want to black over, open Black Clover, okay? And you're going to you're gonna notice an issue, okay? Uh, when you try to make an account, it's not going to let you, all right? And that's very important. Uh, unless you're playing global. If you're playing global, then uh, you'll be fine. Um, but for right now, that's going to be an issue if you want to try, uh, try to log into Black Clover. And uh, build is coming games. It's going to come. Right. Now we're going to have this screen. Right. You want to click the orange button. That just means you, you have set to the terms. And then you can choose the way you want to log in. I'm going to do guest login. And I suggest you do guest login too. And then you can link it to Google. I'm pretty sure just later. Uh, that's usually how it works. Uh, but... Again, you don't have to worry about rerolling in this game because it has a reroll multi type system. Unless you want to like super hardcore reroll, but I think the one the, the system they have is going to be plenty. Anyway, if I try to click guest login right now, right, and I click this, it's not going to let me. Right? It says, uh, You are not from Japan, please go away. So you want to use a VPN. Now, I'm not going to tell you which VPN to use, it's up to you. you use any VPN, it doesn't matter. There's a pun, there's a bunch of free ones. So, me personally, I use Proton VPN, they don't pay me, so I'm going to talk about them much. Anyway, you want to connect to Japan on your VPN, and then just for making the account, okay, usually when you connect to a, um, a VPN, especially if it's far away, like let's say like Japan, your download speed, everything is going to be affected greatly, right? Um, but the only time you actually need the VPN is when you make your account. So right here for this button click, that's the only time you need the VPN. Because the way it works is it's going to tell you, it's going to tell the like the system, you, you are in Japan, you are making the account, right? And you just need to be in Japan to make the account, right? Like, let's say you're from Japan, you're traveling to the US, you can still play. Because you made it in Japan. You made the account in Japan. So you just need to do that, right? So I'm connecting to uh, Japan right now. And I'm about to be connected. Uh, any second now. Okay, there we go. I'm connected. Now I click guest login. And then boom, it's going to come up with this. And now it's actually going to let me play. Right? It's going to tell me I need to like 800 or 900 uh, megabyte download. Um, boom, yeah, 919. Okay, it increased. What the hell was like 902 late, earlier. And now the tutorial plays. Right? Boom, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it's gonna run this stuff. I haven't muted because I'm scared that some sort of like background music is gonna get copyrighted by Black Clover or something. But there we go, you have this, and now you can also just disconnect from your VPN if you want to, right? If you wanna have like higher um, download speed, because I mean, if I'm if I'm connecting to a Japan server, I'm not gonna have the highest download speed, right? Um, it's actually, I can't lie, it's actually not affecting mine too much. Like, I'd have like 15-ish if I turned it off right now. But yeah, anyway, now in the tutorial, uh, in the, during the download, you can do like a little like, first Wizard King um, fight against the funny demon. Um, now you can get a feel for the game and everything. You can test how well it's running. As you can see, see it's like it's running well for me. There's no hiccups or anything. It's running well for me. Uh, it's all good. It looks great. It looks great. It's very nice, right? I can uh, I can I can play the game normally. Everything is fine, right? That's the power of Blue Sex, baby. And that's it. Again, very important. Use my link in the description so you have the latest version. Because if you use previous versions, it might not work as well. Um, and you might have stutters and everything. Again, this one comes with really good settings pre-installed already. I didn't have to change anything initially. I just upped some settings just for like no reason. I tested them all though, and the, the default settings that it came with on the the link I have uh, were perfect. So I would just suggest you do that. Then you download it and it's going to tell you it's going to launch at XYZ hours after you're done with the download, okay? So if I, I think if I just go back now, no, I'd have to like, I'd have to like, like restart the app or whatever. But anyway, that's the same thing. Now, let's say you want to play on um, on Korea, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this BlueStacks, okay? I'm going to close this and I'm going to open my new instance, okay? And it's the same thing. Right, on Korea. If I want to do Korea, it's going to be the exact same thing. You just open it and boom, you're done. Um, right? No, yeah, sorry. Once you're done, like, well, uh, once you have the second instance, you can just like drag the same Kuwap file you downloaded earlier. You can drag it into there, open Kuwap, and then you can go from there, uh, download Korea, right? And then, by the way, for Korea, if you're in Japan, if you're connected to Japan, it works the exact same way. Um, it works the exact same way. Even if you connect to Japan, it still lets you in Korea. You don't like it, the Japanese VPN is fine. They just don't want Westerners there. But if you're from if you're from Japan, then you can play Korea. That's fine. So uh, just connect to the same VPN, right? Again, mine, the one I'm using, Proton VPN, has Jap Japan as a free option. If you don't want to look for a different VPN, um, Tunnel Bear is, is free. You can. There's a bunch of VPNs that have like free trials. Uh, 
just look maybe you already have one right maybe you're one of your family members is paying for one just do it maybe you can yoink it of a friend of yours why vpn shouldn't be an issue um and also global is launching in six to eight weeks so you can keep that in mind too also 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 i have a black clover channel it's going to be linked in the description as well play sub to that one and watch the video i have on there as well thank you very much baby all right but that's gonna be it um i think it's because i'm recording it's a, a little bit slower right now but same thing right let's say i want to install cool app i just drag it into here and then boom you give it like two seconds and it's gonna be installed right i think my pc is currently rolling itself because of the recording on the vpn disconnect from the vpn actually real quick um Right, it's not gonna take long. You can play other like phone games on here too, right? If you've wanted to, it's installed on the app right now. If you want to play a different phone game on here, right? And you, like you play something on your phone, you want to have it on your PC because it's much easier if you have a blue stacks, you can do that too. But Black Clover stuff, you'd want to do uh, like that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. Um, again, I'm gonna go through our settings really quickly. Uh, this is okay. These settings work, by the way. Um, you probably want to put this on high performance. That's what I did, and then it works. Um, yeah, I'm going to discard changes right now. You have cool app, same thing. You do the exact same thing. You download Black Clover, whichever instance you have, right? That's why I have a J uh, Japan and Korea one. I'm going to be playing both. But yeah, that's it from me, boys. Good job.